Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, as part of the self-hosted simplified series, I'm going to show you how to install Link Warden. Link Warden is a great application you can self-host for bookmarks and preserving internet pages. Let's get into it. Alrighty. As I said in the intro, we're going to take a look and install Link Warden, and we're going to do this on Casa OS. The reason I want to do this on Casa OS is because this is part of the self hosted simplified series. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at Link Warden and what it is and what it does. So you can see Link Warden is a place to preserve your web pages, your links. Uh, it's a collaborative tool because you can share links. You can put stuff into folders and categories. If we scroll down here, you could see collect the web pages and articles and documents you love and all in one place. Organize your links and collections. You can even do some stuff with AI modeling for easy retrieval. What I use Link Warden for is mainly for my phone. And if I come across a specific website or something that I want to read or look at later, I'll add it to my Link Warden. I basically just open up the web page on the phone, paste in the link, hit save, and I'm good to go. What that does is prevents me from having hundreds of tabs open on my phone, which I know many of us probably do. So this is a great tool for that. And something to note, if you are self hosting it, trying to access it remotely, you have to go through some network configurations and that's not part of this video. But if you're internal on your network, you should be able to access this fine from any device that's connected to your internal network. We could see we can preserve web pages, save them, go back and take a look at them later, share and collaborate. So if you have links and stuff you want to share with a friend or a partner, it's really easy to invite them and share there. Self-hosted, which is amazing, which is why we're doing this video. Responsive design. I like that you can pin your favorite links. There's search, there's a browser extension. We have dark mode. Let's go. And then bulk actions, you can import and export. So if you have links like in Chrome or Firefox, you can import those into Link Warden. It is an installable PWA. So that's how I use it on my phone. It's just like a you know portable web app that you can access. We have API integration and there's a ton more features. Let's actually go ahead and get this installed. Before we get to installing this, I want you to go back to the top of the page here and where it says star, click that. It'll go to the GitHub page. Sorry to blind you with the big white page here and make sure you star the project. This is a really great project that's open source and free and they keep it updated, which is pretty amazing. With that said, let's go ahead and get over to Casa OS and get this installed. Here we are in Casa OS. We want to go into the app store and we're going to see here if we just search for link, we have no link warden. It's not an application that is included with Casa OS. So right here at the right side, let me blow this up a little bit where you see it says more apps. We'll click on that. And then we have a question mark, get more apps. It'll go to this third party app store. And this is what we want. We want to scroll down to number six and we see Big Bear Casa OS app store. The Big Bear Casa community is pretty great. They do a lot of stuff with Casa OS and they make this super, super easy for us to install other applications that are in Docker containers that are not part of native Casa OS. You can see here, we can go to the GitHub repo. And if we scroll down, here are all the applications that are included in the Big Bear Casa OS app store. And if we come down here, we can see Link Warden right there is one of them that we want. So what we want to do is where it has this GitHub, all this stuff here, this matters.zip, we'll copy that. Go back over here to Casa OS in the add box right here. We'll paste that in and then click add. And it's going to go ahead and add this to our store. You now see we have 303 applications. We can just show the Big Bear Tech applications if we want. We can go and show different you know, categories here. But let's go ahead and do Link Warden. There we go. We can see Link Warden. We open it up. Self-hosted collaboration bookmark manager. We can go ahead and install it. So it's starting the installation. Right here, we can go ahead and continue in the background. We can open up the app store and just look at all the other applications that are added from Big Bear Casa OS, uh, the app store. So they did a ton of stuff for us that makes everything super easy. And um, so big shout out to that community over there. I'll put a link in his channel below where you can go check it out. Um, does a lot of, like I said, great stuff with Casa OS. Link Warden's still installing. When it's done installing, we'll come on back. 
Link Warden is now installed. So we'll go ahead and click on the Link Warden icon. It'll open and it'll come to this screen here. And this is where we're gonna sign in. Now, again, this is locally hosted. There's no credentials that are out elsewhere that you need to create to log in. So the first time you come here, you need to click where it says sign up. So here you'll type in your display name, username, password, etc. Go ahead and do all that now and click sign up. Now that you created your account, go ahead and log in. And here we go. We are logged into Link Warden. Let's take a look at some of the features here. We are at our dashboard. Here we have no links because we just set this up. We'll have no collections, tags, or pins. We can add a new link. We can import links for, like I said earlier, from you know, Chrome or, or whatever. We can go and click on all collections. We can add a new collection. So let's call this one tech. We'll say this collection will be our tech links. Do that. Now we have a collection called tech. Now that we're back at the dashboard, we want to add a link. So we'll click add new link. Here is where you type in the link. Let's link this to our buddy Techno Tim. So we'll paste in Techno Tim live we're going to put the organization collection under tech we have more options here if you want to name like what the website is if you want to assign it a tag we don't have a tag created or if you want to give it a description we'll pass on that for now we'll do a create link and there you go now we have our first link created it's a uh, techno tim live and right now you can see it's kind of doing a little wavy thing it's trying to kind of get a snapshot of the site you can see it is now done and if we click on it It'll open up Techno Tim's website. We'll go dark mode because Techno Tim, you gotta go dark mode, my guy, right? So if we go back over here to Link Warden on the left side, we have our collections, you know, tech. We have our Techno Tim link in there. Let's say we want to do a new collection called uh, shop. And then we'll just do places we shop. We'll create that collection. And for this one, let's go and do new egg. So we'll go back to our dashboard or we can go into our collection. It's up to you. So for example, if we're back here at the home screen, we can click on our collection shopping. We have nothing in there. So we'll create a new link by clicking the button. We'll paste in our new egg and you gotta make sure you have the HTTP or HTTPS. If we delete this and just did new egg, it is not going to like it. You see it gives us an error. So you got to make sure you type in the full address. We're going to do shopping. Our tag here, let's just call it tech shopping. Enter and then create link. There we go. We now have new egg as a link within shopping. We have a tag here, tech shopping. So if we go back home, we can then go, oh, I want to look in uh, tech shopping. Boom, hit that. Or if we go home, we can click all links and it's going to show us all of our links. You know, we have up here light mode. Sorry about that. Up here, if we click this, we can create a new link. We can upload a file. We can create a new collection. Here is where you change your settings. So we have settings here for our account, you know, your preferences, how you want to do snapshots and preserve things, access tokens. You have RSS feeds, so you can actually keep up with some RSS feeds within Link Warden. It's a pretty cool feature. Under server admin, it's just your administrator accounts. It's just me. Yeah, so this is a really, really great program to self-host in your own server. You can do this with a Docker container. Um, there are a bunch of tutorials on how to do that, but I wanted to show you how to do it with Casa OS because it's such an easy thing to do with the scripts from the Big Bear tech community. And there you have it. That is how you install Link Warden with Casa OS. Link Warden is a great tool for you to self host when it comes to storing all of your bookmarks in a single location. You can create more users for your family members and they can save their bookmarks within this as well. So it kind of frees up some space on your phone, like I said, with all these open tabs in your browser. And it's really easy to share a link with somebody else. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below or head on over to my Discord server at discord.gg havoc. We have a tech section where you can kind of get in there and ask us some questions if you need some help here with Link Warden. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.